Hello, everyone.、Uh, I'm going to present the paper "Localizing Faster, Efficient, and Precise LiDAR-Based Robot Localization in Large-Scale Environments." This research is a collaboration of University of Lincoln, University of Oxford, and Auburn University. Robot localization in large-scale environments without using global pointing system is an open research problem. The conventional geometry-based methods either register the light scan with a global map, or uniformly distribute the particles in the explored area. However, both of these two types of methods are not scalable. On the other hand, The end-to-end -end learning-based methods are fast, but not yet accurate. Our intuition is to leverage the fast inference of learning-based method and the geometric verification of ferreting-based method to localize the robot efficiently and precisely. We use Michigan North Campus long-term dataset for training and evaluation. We first build an accurate map of the environment using multi-session data. Multi-sensor fusion is used in mapping. However, only lidar data is used for relocalization. Then we convert the point cloud map to normal distribution transform representation for memory efficiency. In our approach, a deep neural network is used to estimate the global poles as a Gaussian distribution, and this Gaussian distribution is further used to seed the particles for Monte Carlo localization. We superimpose. Ten consecutive lidar scans to build a semi-dense local map, and the local map is converted to bird-eye view image as input of the deep network. Now let's take a closer look at the network architecture. An auxiliary loss is used to learn the spatial consistent features for global pulse regression. The deep feature is used to build the kernel of the Gaussian process. For conventional Gaussian process, the computational complexity will increase exponentially with the number of training examples. To make the model scalable, we use sparse variational Gaussian process. Here, a reducer site O prime. Is used to approximate the whole training site. O prime is also known as inducing points, which is the learnable parameters of the model. The capital Z is the latent variable of the inducing points. The posterior of the latent variable can be estimated by variational inference. The prediction of the deep net is a multivariate Gaussian. We can sample particles from the Gaussian distribution. Here is a demo of this integrated system. We can find in a couple of seconds the particles is precisely initialized and quickly converged. By important sampling, the global pulse estimation can be integrated seamlessly with Monte Carlo localization, and the two localization systems can mutually benefit each other. And by running them simultaneously, the long-term localization can be achieved. You can understand the deep net is working like a virtual global pointing system.
In this experiment, we manually kidnap the robot to random positions, and our system is able to automatically rescue it. In this demo, the red arrows are the global pulse estimation from the deep nets, and the yellow arrows are ground truth pulses. You can find, after filtering, our system achieves a very high accuracy of localization. To compare the localization efficiency, we implemented a baseline system where the particles are uniform distributed over the all explored areas. In the baseline method, we start with approximately 1.1 million particles, and the exponential decay is applied when the new observation is available. We can find it takes extraordinary long time till the particles are converged. Several minutes are required. Compared to the baseline, our proposed method can localize mass faster. Our experimental result shows that the proposed method is able to localize a robot in 1.9 seconds on average with a precession of 0.75 meters in a large-scale environment, and the environment is about 0.5 square kilometers. Now, a continuous relocalization trajectory is shown. With this trajectory, we are able to reconstruct the scene properly. We can find the localization is precise and consistent. At the end, quantitative result is reported to verify the localization uncertainty. This figure shows the positional and rotational errors are increasing with the predictive uncertainty from the Gaussian process. We also compared to initialize the particles using Gaussian process estimation with a fixed variance estimation. We can find a significant improvement in terms of localization efficiency is achieved when we use Gaussian process to initialize the particles. Thanks for watching. For technical details, welcome to join my interactive session.